Hello, welcome to the Death Penalty Information Center's weekly video podcast. I'm Richard Dieter, Executive Director of the Death Penalty Information Center. On Monday, Florida executed John Ferguson, a severely mentally ill man. Despite uh, protests from the American Bar Association, mental health organizations, and uh, the international community as well. Um, another man who was scheduled for execution uh, this past week was Billy Slagle in Ohio. Uh, he was uh, scheduled for execution two days after Ferguson. Uh, he had committed a murder at age 18, uh, and the uh, county that prosecuted him now had asked for clemency for, for Slagle to reduce his death sentence, but uh, that was denied. He was not executed, however, uh, this week. He committed suicide a few days before his scheduled execution. What he did not know was that there recently had been discovered evidence that a plea bargain had been offered to his uh, attorneys way back at his trial, like 25 years ago, um, that would have avoided the death penalty. And uh, that information wasn't conveyed to Mr. Slagle. Um, and that may have been a grounds for uh, an appeal, uh, for a stay of execution, um, but uh, it all came uh, too late. Uh, Mr. Slagle apparently took his own, own life and was found hung in, uh, in Ohio's uh, death row. A third case that we uh, looked at this week was that of Reggie Clemens. He has a uh, claim of innocence that he uh, did not do the murder that sent him to death row, and a special master, a judge, was appointed in Missouri to review his case and just this week uh, issued his report. And the judge said that there was uh, strong evidence that uh, Reggie Clemens' confession to the crime was coerced, that he uh, was uh, um, practically forced into making this uh, confession. Uh, so uh, that certainly is a concern about uh, his trial. However, uh, the judge did say that he felt uh, there was not enough proof to show Clemens' innocence and that he might have been convicted anyhow without the confession. So this case now goes to the uh, Missouri Supreme Court for further review. Finally, on our website today, we uh, review some of the resources that the Death Penalty Information Center has for students and teachers. We have a high school curriculum, a college curriculum, and now we have a innovative iBook version of our high school curriculum uh, that uh, can be used on the iPad um, and uh, is uh, the latest way to help students get information without textbooks in an interactive way. We hope you'll take a look at this. It's all available on our website, deathpenaltyinfo.org. Thank you. Mm -hmm.